not two parts. We have a hundred per percent proof, or supposed proof, that is, that Jesus is not God. The temptation of Jesus. Yeah, but he's sinless. Somebody tried, people tried to tempt him, but he didn't sin. I could try and tempt Allah, but if he is tempted by it, then this means he's not God. But here's the thing. Your filthy God, according to chapter 33, um, and verse 36, when Muhammad wanted to marry Zayed, he told, he, he gave the right to now make adoption abolish adoption, as 33 verse 40 says, because he wanted, he was so filthy, he lusted after his um, stepson's wife. So your God changes this law about taking care of orphans and adopting people, and meaning for hundreds of years in the Middle East, these little children, all because the parents committed adultery, or whatever, now they, they don't have a name, they're mistreated, because your God is bending the rules for Muhammad, and we see this even, you said that Muhammad didn't sin, well this is a lie, uh, according to the Quran, Muslims are allowed to have four wives, which in itself is contrary to what Jesus said in the Bible, and going right back to Genesis, saying that for this reason, man made the male and female, and the two, not the three, the four, the five, the two shall become one flesh. Yet, Muhammad broke the Quran that he came to bring in having 13 wives. This is a major sin. He couldn't even follow the book he came to bring. And when I ask Muslims about this, they say, Oh, he was, he had special privileges, because he was a prophet. So you're telling me, the good Muslim, the best of Allah, the good one, is the one that breaks his laws? Masha'Allah, brother, Masha'Allah, very smart. And he is called a holy son. A holy son of who? Who is the holy one that produces the holy son? Huh? Muslims? What is my answer? Stay tuned for part four.